Well, hello everyone. So, it's kind of humid out right now. The sky is like completely gray, so I have no idea if it's going to rain, but uh, I hope that it won't until we get back home. We're on our way to get some snacks right now. And, and I don't know when I'm going to chew. Yeah, you don't know which one he's going to choose. So, I figured I wanted to kind of talk about my beliefs and how I view Mom, God can you slash hold on deity. Something? Okay. Wait, and my views on paganism and such, and what better to do it than outside. You walk me now. So, being raised in Catholicism, basically, I never had the problem of seeing God in multiple ways. I've also looked at things like Hinduism, which I've mentioned before. And the thing is that they also see God or Brahman in um, many, many different ways, many aspects. Basically, the deities are attributes of Brahman. And so when I started looking into paganism, the first religion that I found, like many do, was Wicca, which believes in a god and goddess, which they at times refer to as the Lord and Lady. Now, this can vary amongst Wiccans, because while Wicca is predominantly known as a duotheistic religion, meaning they worship a male and female deity. There are some that are hard polytheistic, believing in multiple gods and goddesses. But, you know, they obviously believe in keeping that balance. And there are some that believe in just the god and goddess. Um, usually, the goddess is paired with the moon, the god um, with the sun, the goddess with the earth, the god with the sky, but that can vary amongst people as well. Let's cross the street here. You mean go straight up the street? Yep. Now crash it. That means I go over there. Yeah. Mom. So. Wait, I can move that. Okay, he's going to move this branch here. Um, so yeah, um, what was I saying? Yeah, they're usually strictly duo or polytheistic. Well, wait. However, I have come across a few that are uh, monotheistic, such as I am. When I first started learning about the religion, I came across something called the Idiot's Guide to Wicca and Witchcraft. And basically, in that book, they stated that the all was a female spirit. And she had created the male half, they intertwined, and they created the universe through their union. Now, I sort of believe this and I sort of don't because I think the God that is beyond our comprehension and everything, is beyond gender and everything else. And I think we use these masculine and feminine terms and see God as mother and father to help us better relate. I'm in between what people would call a monotheist, meaning I believe there is only one creator, but I'm more of an inclusive monotheist. I take attributes from different cultures, different deities. I basically believe Jesus, Kali, Athena, Thor, whatever, basically are the same being. They are different aspects of one creator. That is how I see it. People don't have to agree. 
That is just what I believe. And so, that being said, I'm basically monotheistic. Now, I've heard the term soft polytheist, which I guess some could throw at that, but I still feel that it's basically um, monotheism, really. And then there is the aspect of pantheism versus panentheism. Now, pantheism, get down, come on. As far as I know, because we got to cross the street here, go. Yep. As far as I know, has two um, aspects to it. And the two are the belief in a pantheon, which is a set of gods like Greek or Norse or whatever. And then there is the belief that God is synonymous with the universe. I, however, take the path of panentheism, which means God is synonymous with the universe, but also extends beyond it. There are many people who disagree with Christopaganism on both sides. However, I have found that there are probably more pagans who have heard of this religion or this synchronized religion or syncretic whatever than Christians. Although when you mention it there are some that are still against it. So that being said I can understand because of things that have happened in the past. Why people wouldn't trust it. However the thing is we must Remember that the Bible has gone through many... Get off that. Get off that. Um, different translations. And there are things that have been mistranslated either by mistake or on purpose. What... A lot of people believe it has said about witchcraft and everything, it really has not said. And not every Christian is like out to get you and everything, and not all of them hate pagans and everything. And of course not all pagans hate Christians, but there are a lot of pagans that do, and a lot of Christians that do. So for me, my two main deities are Christ and Kali. For me, they balance each other out. Um, it is between mother and father, light and dark, and all this other stuff. And I feel there are slight aspects of both in each other and such. And, you know, I'm still looking towards... Stop that! Okay, Mommy. Different religions to look into and everything. And, you know, people don't have to agree with me and everything. For me, Christopaganism makes sense. I simply view Christ as a deity. I'm not an, um, I'm not a Trinitarian Wiccan. I don't believe in the inclusive uh, idea of just worshipping the Judeo-Christian pantheon. There are some people who are, you know, Dianic Wiccan and everything, and that doesn't make any sense to me. That, to me, makes less sense than Christ of Paganism, because at least Christo paganism is looking towards, you know, a goddess at most times. Sorry. It's looking at, you know, usually the goddess of wisdom, you normally called Sophia and such. Whereas a lot of Diana Quicca basically just looks towards the goddess with no mention of the god at all. So basically, what I'm saying is these are the things as an eclectic Christo pagan, I believe. I believe in one God with many forms, many names. I believe God is synonymous with the universe and also extends beyond it. I believe in the possibility of rebirth, reincarnation, whatever you want to call it. I do not believe in heaven and hell as physical places, but more aspects of mind, states of mind, basically. 
Um, I do believe in gender equality. Um, I respect different sexualities and such, and different identities, whether I agree with stuff or not. Get over here. And, you know, I'm open to taking from different paths and everything. And I'm pretty sure it's probably going to start raining pretty soon. So that is just a brief overview of what I believe. And yes, I do believe that it is okay to be both a Christian and a pagan. And for me, it works. Anyways, thanks for watching. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.